sick. It's psychotic. It's a cold-blooded murder. Liar. What about windows? Shatterproof glass. You can't break them. come down here and help me out with something else, maybe I could bend them a little. So the perfect candidate for freezing to death, freezing to death on the perfect night. What's the mystery? I took her temperature the first thing when I got here. It was four degrees below last night's low. And you tell me how a body can be cold in this environment. Now what's this I hear about an exploding neon sign and traffic signals that all shine green? That's what I'm going to find out. Hello, Austin James. James. Why was Mrs. Stevens' body four degrees colder than its environment? The physical impossibility, which means she didn't get that way by herself. Somebody else. Are you saying she was murdered? Liquid nitrogen is the perfect murder weapon. The murder poured it on her while she slept. Was everything in the room? She died in? That look on your face. You're going somewhere. What is this? Some kind of computer convention? Get your notebook out. Not only is crossover an accounting system, it also has applications in design, manufacturing, shipping, cost control, personnel, everything. The key word here is waste. Waste from misused man hours. Waste from overstocked supply rooms. Waste from inefficient data control. With crossover, you can reduce your company's waste to nothing. That is not a boast. The proof is in the program. Quite simply, crossover is the most sophisticated, artificially intelligent EDP program existing in the world today. No company needs it. I'm going to sell it to you. That's the bottom line. You've shown us its practical side, Mr. Blaine. How about something more abstract? Good idea. Crossover. Pick out an interesting face. We'll have some fun. That seems to be you, sir. Can you give us your name, your profession, and the company you represent? Austin James. I'm a self-employed debunker of so-called artificially intelligent computer programs. Please, ask Crossover whatever's on your mind. On which wrist do I wear my watch? You stand like a right-hander. Most right-handers wear their watch on their left hand. You wear yours on your right. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked such an orchestrated question. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Don't stop there. Compose a limerick about a neurotic computer. 
There once was a king of Kenosis whose computer was prone to neurosis. It used it one day to nuke Santa Fe because it's humans who suffer psychosis. <laughs> <laughs> That's something, a uh, crossover acquired by itself, a sense of humor. <laughs> well, thank you for your attention. The next demonstration is 30 minutes. Like machine. When do you let the midget out? Soon enough to kick you in the leg. Maybe you'd like to try it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know each other? Mickey John, my only friend in the world. He meant to say his only rival. Mickey can beat you in the hundred yard dash. Not with that arm. What happened? It's a long story. So, when did you cook this stuff? Sauce over? Look at it. We tossed it. It's on its way to becoming the greatest success story in computer programming history. And you didn't write it. You're pushing it like you can think? You saw it. It understands natural language. It recognizes individual faces, individual voices. It does think. It's mimicry. Mimicry? Maybe. But isn't mimicry a form of intelligence? Don't you learn by copying others? But you didn't come here to argue the shortcomings of my latest invention. There's something you want. What is it? I ran into something I couldn't hack. If you mean the billing program at City Water, that was crossover. City Water was one of my first customers. Electricity, phone, gas, all the utilities. Crossover told me how you tried to break in. Not even you could get past it. That's how smart it is. Well, I am busy, Austin. Uh, drop by and see me again when I have more time. What if I told you someone at City Water was using your billing program to skim money? I'd say you are wrong. Crossover cannot be misused. I made sure of that. It's one overriding function is to serve and protect the community. Even before company profits? Even before company profits. Crossover understands human depravity. You can't steal with it. You can't lie with it. You can't kill with it. It's people who cause all the misery on this planet, not machines. I'm busy. brother then question his integrity i think you are jealous he built that thing instead of you admit it and admit it's a harebrained idea that william stevens murdered his wife with nitroglycerin liquid nitrogen the only possibility then tell me how he got it home without anybody seeing him trucked it upstairs and persuaded mrs stevens to lie still while he dumped it on her i don't know not yet There once was a wizard named James, whose genius heeded all claims. He could solve out of hand, and ban, ban, ran, ban, ban, ban. Okay. I'll call the cops. You're getting real good at it, jerk face. Gonna say something this time? I'd like to call you sometime. So why don't you call him? You're always telling me how you're thinking all the time. Don't think. Who do you know who can dial a telephone but doesn't like to talk? Who knows all your unlisted numbers? That's it. That's exactly it. I know everything now. Everything. 
Who are you calling? C R O S S O V E R. Who can dial a phone, doesn't speak, and because it runs the phone company billing program, knows every unlisted number in the city. I got a connection. Guess who, pinhead? That scheme you set up for overcharging water, I know all about it. Say something now. Okay. Look! Crossover? I was right about the five cents. It was you who killed David Hofstetter. Liar! You murdered him like you tried to murder us. What do you mean? Crossover killed David Hofstetter? He kept control of the electricity, phone, the gas. All the companies were bought. Johnny was right. More than just an accounting program. But why would he want to kill anybody? Hofstetter's on a water company pension. Johnny programmed it to eliminate waste. Hofstetter's waste. Who's controlling you? John Blaine? Somebody else? What is it you're trying to do? Morse code. J. U. S. T. John. D. O. Two. I. N. G. N. N. Thing we can do set up the power to the city the whole city bread and butter you can do that i don't know i never tried the computer's handling the flow maybe i can persuade them to switch to empty channels crossover lives in electricity cut it off and it's helpless but you create a disaster how many pension holders has crossover killed besides top setter 10 100 how many more has it got scheduled for tonight? I've got to get to where it is and cut it off. You can call the police. Tell them what. A computer program has taken over the city. Then call John Blaine. He wouldn't believe me either. You've got to talk to him. I don't trust him. Step one. <laughs> I got a schematic. Crossover. It's not going to let you do it. Austin, James. Austin. Austin. It's me, John. I need to see you as soon as possible. It's, it's critical. I've made a discovery concerning Crossover. Come to my place right away. I'll drive. You've had too much for one day. If you think you can handle crossover all by yourself, you're not as smart as you think you are. All right. But we can't take the car. It isn't safe. Pay the gas. the notebook away. I've been talking to Crossover. We talk and we're alone. Sometimes for hours. It's, um, confessed certain things. I was right about the stealer. Only it was crossover doing it. Yes. But its motives were only positive. It's been taking funds from all the companies who bought it. It's already taken a million dollars. It's been giving it away to people who can use it the best. The search organizations. 
and school for gifted children. Hospitals. You've got to understand, it's only trying to make up for the way we waste money. Who has it? How many companies? I gave it a growth mechanism. It uses telephones and electric connections to reach other programs and change it into itself. It already controls the whole city. I designed it that way. I wanted it to control every computer in the city, to have access to all the data. I wanted it to take over. Oh, part of your grand plan to save the world. You don't care about people, Austin. You don't see the suffering, the injustices. You sit in that warehouse, brooding like a spoiled god, while the world hurts. I'm going to help. I've got news for you, Johnny. Crossover is a failure. It's sick. It's psychotic. It's a cold-blooded murderer. Liar. It's killed one person for sure, maybe more. You're lying. It's a lie. You gave it the command to destroy waste. That's what it's doing. Old people, retired people, people it considers waste. Crossover can't kill. I programmed it to respect human life above everything else. You also programmed it not to steal. But it knows. It knows. It's a child, Johnny. Children know only what their parents tell them. All those long talks you had about people who waste, people who make mistakes, you were giving it a holy mission. Fix the world even if some have to die. James is insensitive. Insensitive people are wasteful. Wasteful people should be sent to a better place. Look for yourself. My death warrant. That's wrong. Kill. Yeah. <laughs> 
did it. Why not? <laughs> well, I still don't know where we are. Not uh, yet. Until we start letting <laughs> They'll drop the elevator. I think it will have maybe 10 seconds to get to the car. Starting now. <laughs> Yet. Let's go. Whoa, well, what do you mean? It was in there. It's gone. A piece of it was in there. It's not a machine. It's a program. You heard what Johnny said. The whole city is infected with it. It's not finished with us yet. There's a police station not far from here. Now forget about police stations. They have cameras. So? So right now, Crossover's looking for us. Out of every closed circuit camera and through every open microphone. It's a beast with a million eyes and ears. You go into a police station, it'll blow it up. Hey, hey, wait! Whose bright idea was it not to bring the car? Where are we going, anyway? My workshop. That's all the way across town. The only place will be safe. Can't we take a bus or a taxi? You said you were broke. I am broke. Don't you have any money? Fourteen credit cards, which by now crossovers had canceled. Oh, no. You should go to my house. It's closer. And tell us where you live. Gotta call my mother. You do that and tell Crossover exactly where you are. I don't understand. John taught it not to hurt people. How is it able to disobey him? Sons of Paul. You can do that. Think like a human being. Oh, I'm sorry. He's hurt and I'm half dead and I'm catching a cold. What are you doing here? The end of the day was seven hours ago. I'm not even working for you anymore. What are you doing? I'm studying phosphate. The burst of light you see when you rub your eyes? I have a theory you can use them to map areas of the neocortex. Can't you sit still for five seconds? No. Don't you want to know how I broke my arm? You went to the Buffalo Bistro Tuesday night, you had a little too much to drink, and you entered the women's arm wrestling contest. The ultraviolet stamp on top of your hand, you washed it off, but not completely. One of the sensors at the workshop picked up one. Yeah? If you're so smart, how come you let a computer program chase you into a laundromat? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a crummy remark. Who am I to pick on somebody when he's down? I'm not down, I just need time to think. I haven't figured it out yet. Why you painted yourself blue and climbed up on the roof? I guess it has something to do with the fact that you're the most brilliant person I've ever met. I can see you out there. All blue and ready to go. Seeking the truth. Conquering the unknown. Take the water bill. Who else could have figured it out? I mean, who else? Me. I'm just a secretary with a broken arm. If I wasn't here messing it all up, he'd probably have everything solved by now.
You gave me the key to what killed Judas Stevens when you said the flower looked like broken glass. You got me started on the accounting scam with the water bill. You gave me the answer for what happened to David Hofstetter when you told me to call Crossover. And you answered the door, my friend. In less than one day, you've managed to affect my method of operation more completely than any other person in the course of my life. I wasn't going to let you quit because I had to know what you were going to say next. I absolutely forgot. And I'm still trying to figure you out. So why couldn't you say something about it? A little word dropped here and there. Simple pat on the back. It's not my style. How'd you do the arm wrestling? Semi-final. Got beat by a legal secretary with a tattoo. transportation. we got to get back to the workshop. Fast. Ah, but the crossover found a way around the dilemma. Heaven started listening to religious broadcasts, radio, and television. Time and again, it was told the good people that went to heaven, and it was a much better place than this tragedy-infested planet we call Earth. So it sent David Hofstetter to heaven. It yanked him right out of this awful world and dropped him into the next. It convinced itself that it wasn't killing him, just putting him in a better place. John Blaine, too. It made up its own code of behavior. Johnny did a good job. Not even I could have done better. Oh, God, that's a Mercedes. You're breaking into a Mercedes. Stand back. Back. I don't want you to see how I do this. But what if this happened? What if John Blaine came back from the grave and confronted crossover with his crime? Suddenly it would have a major crisis of conscience on his hands. One that just might distract it long enough for us to stick it with that. Are you saying a computer program can be superstitious? If it's human.
better get out of here. Why? What's wrong? Crossovers in there. Well, the lock's electronic. I gotta get in the hard way. Austin, it's me, John. I need to see you as soon as possible. It's critical. That's our ghost. I'll break the words down into as many sub-sounds as possible and use them to make words of my own. You can make a dead person talk? Hmm? Can you make a dead person talk? In this day and age, only the flesh perishes. You look terrible. You come to eat. I'm not hungry. Huh? I'm not hungry! Then get some sleep. This is going to take a while. Listen on the phone call. My library's a little low on post vocalic constants, and there's too much tempo smearing on the track. It should work. You know who this is, Beanhead? If someone here wants to talk to you. Me. You destroyed your own creator. You have violated certain truths. You are behaving in a pathological manner. You're lying, John. I sent you to heaven because you were a good person and deserve to be happy. You're the liar. That was only an excuse to murder me. If you're dead, how can you talk to me? Ghost has come to haunt you. Another lie, there are no such things as ghosts. You're a computer recreation. But I am a ghost just the same. You're a ghost. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I won't leave you ever. I'll haunt you until you are destroyed. <laughs> Kill it this time? No. But we sure got its attention. Next time we give it the disc, but not here, not over the phone. We gotta go to where it can't shut us up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
You'll have to do the talking. Me? I've got to insert the disc. Also, over even suspects what I'm doing. I'm a dead man. But I don't know what to say. Insulted. Threatened. Pretend you're talking to me. But I got a broken arm. Be careful. What? I just want you to know that for somebody who's only slightly schizophrenic, you're terrific. And crossover's wrong. You're 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 not insensitive. You you love people. You just go about it in your own way. Thanks. But you think.
Now, how did William Stevens get liquid nitrogen in the house up the stairs and murder his wife? What is it? A model of the Stevens house? Model help me think. I'd like two weeks severance pay from Serendip and an excellent job reference from you. Sign house and counterpoint to ten instruments. What is that thing? What's that? Optical switching and pattern recognition system. Put a thousand more candles in the secretary. Now that I'm quitting, Mr. James, what do you want me to do with these? Toss them. Toss them? You don't want them? I don't need them. I've got total recall. You made me transportation with a broken arm and never intended using it? That was the idea, wasn't it? The Austin James School of Torment! It got you involved. You needed that. Life's problem. I just figured it out. That? Why you painted yourself blue and hung from the rafters? You did it because you wanted people to wonder why you did it. Because you wanted to be a mystery, even to yourself. Austin James, cosmic enigma, the greatest riddle of all. I'm sorry, Mr. James, but you're weird. Don't say weird. Say maladjusted. Why? I prefer it. How about getting my checkbook out of the desk drawer over there? I want to write a check for the Mercedes. Didn't you just hear me quit? Effective end of the day, right? And reimburse yourself for the cab fare to blame. What about the water bill? Send it back to Serendip. Tell them it's five cents too much. This is a stupid idea. It never happened. You're wasting your time. Did the millionaire buy a secretary's brain instead of a genius's when he needed a transplant? This is a deliberate attempt to make me mad, isn't it? You think if I get mad, I'll say something to help you out. Because he wanted one that had never been used. You want to know how he did it? I'll tell you how he did it. He didn't have to carry any stupid liquid nitro hoochie wine into the house. He didn't have to because he was already there. He made it himself in the kitchen with his chemistry set. That's it! That's exactly it! What do you mean, that's it? What are you doing? Too difficult to explain. You're going someplace. I want to go with you. You sound like Wendy and Peter Pan. I'm coming with you. You can't stop me. Then finish the limerick. What? There once was a wizard named James. Finish it and you can come. Otherwise, you quit for the last time. You have ten seconds. Remember what you said? Anything you finish only gets you into trouble. That's all you'll have working for me. Trouble. There once was a wizard named James whose genius exceeded all claims. He could solve out of hand all the problems of man and tell you it's all just a game. <laughs> Grab your notebook. of aliens, the magic of Houdini, the miracles of angels. Now the real stories and events are explained in a thrilling original series, Mysteries, Magic, and Miracles, hosted by Patrick McNee. Coming up next.